Hello, let's make a dress. Basically, I have been wanting to make a particular type of dress, like a summer, long, uh, simple, flowy dress. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, but I wasn't certain about what I wanted. However, the reason why I wanted is because I found this fabric and it was just like uh, maybe two meters, I think, sort of. It has the last piece and I was like, well, you know, they give me also discounts, so I thought, why not? So I got it and I always felt like I, I wasn't sure if I wanted a dress or maybe I wanted a skirt, something like that. However, the other day we went out and, uh, you know, I saw some things at the store and I saw a long dress. Let me show you the picture. I looked at the board and mind that. It was this, basically. Long. It's kind of what I wanted, and you cannot see it really. Maybe here, let me. In the back, uh, it has things in the back, a cord that you pull, so it gives you the form. Which means it is a very simple dress, and that's exactly what I wanted. So, what I have been doing basically is that I saw it and I thought, okay, this is it. I have tried basically tried on the dress that I wanted. I do like how it looks. I have the fabric, I just have to do it. And I started yesterday and I wanted to show you what I've done and today I need to finish it. This is the fabric, like I said, a normal piece of fabric. I folded it in half and I did some sewing with the machine in here. It's a rectangle, basically. Nothing else, nothing fancy, worry not. However, this is a fabric that if you stretch it, Sadly, the fabrics, the fibers, move a little bit and show white, like white lines. What I did was that on the main seam here, I then attached it by hand. I did all of this um, one by sewing machine, but this one that kind of keeps it down and you know decent looking, I did all of that by hand. Now, the thing is that because I want to add the cords in here, that I'm going to pull the dress, if I do it, uh, straighten the fabric. I'm afraid that the string might be a bit too much. So I decided, let me turn the dress, I decided that on the sides I was going to do a line of stitching. I did it with the sewing machine, a nice strong stitch all the way on the sides. So then when I'm going to add the cord, the cord is going to be attached in here. That way the pressure is going to be a little bit less uh, strong on just one piece of the fabric. It's going to be a little bit more divided, let's say. Again, a very simple stitch. I just follow the machine. Lucky for me, this is enough fabric for me to get in and out easily. I could have gone a little bit further, but there was no need. I didn't feel that there was a need. And it is a straight stitch. Again, I'm not following the forms. I'm not doing anything other than straight stitching. Plus, I also did, this is the upper part, so I did the seam, the invisible seam on the inside of the fabric, hand stitching it, and this is how it is, it's done. Today what I need to do is to add the straps here and the cords in here. For the cords on the side, I was able to take off a little bit of fabric and it was for me uh, great because it was enough to do these two strap things. So these two that are the same fabric as this are going to be the cords that go in here. As you can see, I decided to do it kind of big because that way I have more surface. So, you know, again, division of the string, I don't know how to call that, physics. For the straps in here, I did not have enough fabric. So I just went and take another black fabric that it was kind of similar shade. And I did two straps, very simple straps, nothing fancy here. This is where it gets tricky, but yesterday, uh, lucky for me, I had a bit of time so I kind of figure it out. So, first it goes, you know, the sewing, the big one, the big uh, seam, goes in the back. The side ones go, well, on the side. What you need to do is to find the piece in here that I like it here, sort of, not too low, but not too high. Also, not too stretchy, but not too big, because otherwise, you know, it can be an issue. So it has to be, you know, a nice amount that I feel that it looks cute, it looks nice. Once I have that, I try as much as I can to make it symmetrical, one side and the other. 
So here I can work one side the other. So you can see in this way, you can see kind of how it follows, how it drapes down. And I don't mind this, this is quite nice. Next, I turn the fabric around. So we have the main seam in here. And I'm gonna do basically the same. But because in the back you don't have, you know, the curls, then it can be a little bit more straight. So in here, I feel it's nice enough. So symmetry checking. And once I like it, more of this. Okay, I uh, decided to, you know, put something clear so it is easier to see. So this is the back right? And the idea is that it is close, as you can see. Here I attach the straps. So when I put it here, you can take out any your arm quite easily. However, we have this extra piece in here, which is not very nice. What I found that I can do is simply basically once I have the measurements that I want, I'm going to actually not just attach it here. But I'm going to do a double attachment, let's call it. I'm going to fold a piece of the fabric. So this part here, it's a bit more firm, it's not so flimsy. I can see what that's going to do is that it's going to leave a bit of a fold here that going down, it's going to actually look quite nice when you put then the cotton here. All of the parts in the bag is going to fold. Okay, so this is sort of how it looks. Uh, I already, you know, pin it, but of course then I'm gonna, with the ruler, I'm going to try to, you know, be sure that I have symmetry and I'm gonna work on that. That's something that is kind of boring, <laughs> let's be honest, but you know, just to give it as much symmetry as I can. So as you can see, like that, you don't have as much holding folding here because you already took it in the back, but enough for you know movement to be. And also the idea that I have is that this is a breathable dress. It's not fully attached. Also because as you can see here in the front, you see it like this and you're like, okay, so we're folding the back. Remember, this is going to be then exactly. So as you can see, it diminishes. I still have time to move it, so maybe if then I, you know, try it on without this shirt and I'm like, mm, too much, I can still move. There's still time to, you know, do some of those changes. I just wanted to show you. At the end of the day, it depends on what you want. So once you have the straps in, we are gonna add the cord in here. It is basically a big strap, actually, more than a cord. I did the whole thing and then I cut it in half, and this is all that I have. So, these pieces, when they still actually open, these ones are going to go on the seam. When I decide where they go, when I am going to sew them in, I'm going to open the seam, I'm going to put it inside, and then I'm going to sew everything together so everything is attached from the inside. It's not just on the outside, it's on the inside. But for now, I need to figure out where I'm going to put them. I could go higher, so focus more on the upper part. So let's say I take this and then go on the back. It is not bad, but I personally might like more if it cinches the waist. You know, if we go from here. I don't know, I like it more from the waist also because <laughs> You know, uh, I like the idea that I can cinch that and this goes a little bit more open. But again, you do you do. So now I'm gonna clip this. Here we go. This is my waist and I can attach it here. Once again, similar with the straps, then I'm gonna work on symmetry and kind of counting itches, you know. But for now, this looks good. And the idea is that, well, I don't need to clip anything because as you can see, I can Put it on enough quite easily so you don't have to worry about zippers, buttons, none of that. Just get in and then uh, it's also quite nice like this, you know, especially during those very hot summer days. But the idea is that when you go on the back and close, and that way you have a very nice summery dress that follows the body a little bit more without you having to worry because I know, I know that creating a dress that follows your own body can be really hard. So this way it kind of adapts. And on the back it remains this 
folding on. That's why I decided to do that extra folding in the back because all of the folding goes back so it follows all together. While in the front it's a bit more straight. I might do some extra adjustments because I feel this is a bit too open but I don't know if it's because of this or I don't know. But yeah, it's done. It's not iron so <laughs> don't be too judgy. It is done! I'm gonna push on, but first I want to show you the folding, the famous folding in the back of the straps. So you can see, just a fold, really nothing, nothing fancy, which is one of the main things that I have been loving about this dress. It was very, very easy. One day, maybe two, if you take it quite easy, absolutely you can do it. Let's put it on. Ta-da! <laughs> Later on, I would flip the camera so you can see the whole thing, but for now, I love it. Even just like this. It's so comfortable, so easy to put on, so simple, but so pretty. I think it's not just the style of the dress, but it is, again, the pattern. I was, I'm so in love with this, and I feel that the flowers, because they are vertical, help with the vertical dress. I have been looking at this, and I think that even if it were shorter, it could still be really nice. So even if you don't have like a full, you know, head to toe uh, piece of fabric, even shorter, I think it looks quite nice. Given as a shirt, but now it's time for the straps. Let me turn around and so pretty. Oh, I love it. It is really, really comfortable. Doing the most with so little. I don't know why it reminds me of a sort of 90s dress. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's the form, maybe it's the strappingness, I don't know why, but I really, really like it. Let me twirl a little bit. Okay, no vertical. This is a full dress. I did the uh, part of the button by hand because of the type of fabric, but it didn't take that long really, and come on now. I am really really happy with how this came out again very easy to do and i love it i'm so happy if you do do it um let me know because i'm a very curious person and what other fabric do you think like pattern of fabric do you think would go with because i think flowers really nailed it i'm in a simple color but maybe with satin because it flows nice but as you know but what are your thoughts? What do you think? With what other pattern could this dress really work with? In the meantime, I'm going to show a little bit more. So, yeah, bye.